Welcome back, fans. Jason Anderson alongside Ron Alexander for another episode of Jim Wars. And, Bullen, we have quite the show this morning for the fans. We've got a fantastic show this morning, uh, Jason, but you might want to update the fans watching at home on the injury update. That's right. Dylan Drake was injured in training. Therefore, Derek the Boss Anders will take on Chupa Cobra in our main event. Jody and Omega will take on Vinny and Frost in a tag team match. Well, let's take a look at how this feud between Derek the Boss Sanders and Dylan Drake started. As you all remember, fans, a few weeks ago, Dylan won the APW Sexiest Wrestler poll that all the fans voted on rolling, and the boss was not too fond of that. This is kind of ridiculous. This, this has no place in pro wrestling. Well, thank you very much, APW fans and APW Universe. I really appreciate it. And then out comes Mr. Ego himself, a man that has never met a mirror. He hasn't fallen in love with the boss, Derek Sanders, trying to steal Dylan Drake's line. Line. We all know that trophy belongs to the boss, Derek Sanders, the guy who is the sexiest man of APW. But in order to keep you from standing out here and crying all night about how you're the boss and how sexy you think you are and how sexy you know you are, I'm going to give everybody here a favor in order to get you just to shut up. I'm going to give you this trophy. Because you obviously need that on yourself more than I do. And after Dylan Drake kind of threw that back in Sanders' face, you see the cheap shot here rolling, costing Dylan the shot at regaining that APW Universal Heavyweight belt. He had the sharpshooter locked in. Sanders got a shot, and then Malachi came over with a big boot. You know, and I think there's got to be some repercussions from that because the cameras, the APW cameras, caught Dylan Drake laying on the ground. Malachi got the one, two, three after hitting that boot, and then. And if that wasn't enough, out pops Sanders from underneath the ring. After the referee leaves, here comes Sanders putting the boots to Dylan Drake. Just uncalled for. Un all over who the sexiest guy is. Come on. So Sanders, after he got in his few shots against Dylan Drake, you knew this was going to come to a head eventually here. They had the eight-man tag match. Drake, unfortunately, injured now. Troopy has to step in. Let's throw it back to AC right now, who's standing by with the boss. All right, all pro wrestling fans, I'm AC, and standing to my left is a man who is scheduled to take on Dylan Drake today, but due to an injury, Dylan Drake cannot compete in this match. I'm talking about the boss, Derek Sanders. What's your game plan going into this match now knowing that it's not Dylan Drake, it's Chupacabra? First of all, let me correct you here, AC. We all know, everyone out here knows, and especially the boss knows, Dylan Drake's not injured. Dylan Drake looked in the mirror, then he looked at the picture of Derek Sanders and he looked back in the mirror. Then he looked at the picture of Derek Sanders and he looked back in the mirror and he said, there is no way I have any chance of winning that match against the boss, Derek Sanders. So, how do I feel about it? I'm disgusted by Dylan Drake's actions. If he were a man, he wouldn't be faking an injury. He would want to get into that ring with me. Dylan Drake, this is far from over between you and I. We all know that this is far from over because I still am, I still think, and I still know that I am the sexiest man of APW and I will prove it to you once and for all. Alright boss, so his replacement is El Chupacabra, a much faster wrestler, more of a high flyer. What's your game plan against him, knowing that he's going to be quite the different opponent that Dylan Drake is? Let me answer with a question. How does it feel to be such an idiot? Huh? Okay? Choopy, you can jump around all you want. You can be as fast and as quick as you want. The fact of the matter doesn't scare me. You're looking at 227 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal. You're looking at 227 pounds of sexiness combined with strength, Choopy. Your speed, it's got nothing on the boss. The only thing I'm worried about is getting your dirty face paint all over my beautiful body. So, you can people, you can call it cocky, call it confident, or call it arrogant, but whatever you want to call it. We all know, arrogance is bliss. I'm the boss. Alright fans, you've heard it from the boss. That match is coming up later today. El Chupacabra versus Derek Sanders. More All Pro Wrestling action after this commercial break. 
So here we go. Let's kick things off with our first matchup of the morning. Rolling, as we pointed out earlier, Dylan Drake unable to come in and take on Derek the Boss Sanders. He was injured during training. We will work on our best fans to find out more on that. But here he comes, Mr. Ego himself, Derek the Boss Sanders. You know, and injuries are part of the game, you know, and, and especially in APW because the APW boot camp, uh, we do do a pro camp. The pros work out a lot. Uh, they work out on different things based on what they're seeing in footage of opponents. And, uh, you know, and, and this was no exception. I, I was looking forward to Dylan, but I got to tell you, Chupacabra is going to be very good. He, I'm a big fan of his. This kid can fly around the ring. Absolutely. Well, you think that's going to have to be his strategy here? He's not going to be able to play the map game, the power game with somebody like the boss. Well, I think uh, Chupacabra might have a slight edge because uh, he exact he knows exactly from watching the footage what to expect from Derek. But I got a funny feeling that Derek has been watching nothing but Dylan Drake for this. That's right, Roland. Yeah. Chupacabra is in a win-win situation here. If he loses, no one's expecting him to beat Sanders because he's a late replacement. But if he wins, hey, what an upset. He's got nothing to lose in this can catapult uh, Chupacabra up to the top of the uh, APW standards. That's right, and here he comes, El Chupacabra. And he's got his game face on. He definitely does. And well, as you pointed out, Sanders is definitely the type of guy that will look past somebody, a smaller opponent like Chupacabra. Like I said, Chupacabra coming in with 100% intensity. Look at the way he flies right from the ring there. Chupi's got to get the APW fans here at the APW Garage behind him because the six man is very important in this kind of match. Uh, Derek is probably not expecting Chupi to have a lot of fans because he doesn't appear at APW that often. But if he can get the fans behind him, that gives him another small edge. Absolutely, and as you just saw, fans, as Rowan pointed out, the fans already starting to get up on their feet for this match. Our first match of the morning here, senior referee Tom Caster bringing both men in the center of the ring, going to go over the rules, pat down, make sure nobody has any foreign objects. And again, fans, we thank you for tuning in this morning. KFTY Channel 50, Digital 199, 11 a.m. every Saturday. This is where you see all the best pro wrestling action in Northern California. Here at Jim Moore's APW, the world-famous APW Garage in Hayward. That's right. And for those of you that have not seen Chupi wrestle, yes, he's, he's one of the smaller wrestlers, but his heart is huge.